Welcome to Meddos. Let's learn about the difference between pericardium, epicardium, myocardium, and endocardium. In this video, I'll be covering the basics of the respective layers of the heart, like what is it and what it is made up of and its functions. At the end of this video, you'll be having your quiz time. So in order to answer it correctly, listen carefully. So let's begin. Pericardium. What is pericardium? It is a thin, fluid-filled sac that covers the outer surface of the heart. And here you need to take note of this thin, fluid-filled sac. And epicardium. What is epicardium? It is the inner part of pericardium that envelops the heart. And here you need to take note of this. Actually, the pericardium is a double-layered wall which is like this and the outer layer is said to be parietal pericardium which is parietal pericardium parietal pericardium and the inner layer is called visceral pericardium And this visceral pericardium is also called as epicardium. So this is the epicardium, which is the inner part of pericardium that envelops the heart. And here you need to take note of this parietal pericardium, which is the outermost layer, which is the outermost layer. And here is, here is the heart. Like you have your chambers here. I'm not good at drawing. And you, you have your chambers here. And visceral pericardium is the layer which is near to the heart. And that that is the layer that surrounds the heart. So the overall outermost layer is this parietal pericardium. But the layer which surrounds the heart is called visceral pericardium pericardium and what is myocardium this is the middle and thickest layer of the heart wall and here you need to eventually take note of this middle and thickest layer and here you have a space you know here you have a space like here you have a space and which is the middle layer and that is myocardium and that is very thick take note that it is thick and it is not like a fluid in pericardium we learn that it is thin and it is fluid and in myocardium it is a thickest layer and which is made up of heart muscles and endocardium what is endocardium this is a thin smooth tissue and the innermost layer of the heart and here you have the chambers and this layer was made up of your endocardium and here you need to take note of it is thin and smooth tissue in epicardium we see that it is thin and fluid filled sac but in endocardium it is thin as well but it is a smooth tissue and which is the innermost layer of the heart. Here we see the four layers of the heart which I messed up drawing before. 
This is epicardium, this is pericardium, here myocardium, and this is endocardium. And let's see what it is made up of. Pericardium is made up of connective tissue, and this connective tissue provides cohesion and internal support to the heart and all the organs around it. And here we see the pericardium, the epicardium, myocardium, and endocardium. And the epicardium is made up of thin layer of elastic connective tissue and fab. Here you notice it is elastic and also made up of fat. And this elasticity helps the heart to pump effectively. And myocardium is made up of heart muscles. Here you notice it is full of muscles here. And here it is full of heart muscles. And endocardium, the innermost layer, this, this one, the innermost layer. So here, this one. It is made up of subendothelial connective tissue, epithelial tissue, and endothelium. And here you notice that it is subendothelial connective tissue. So this subendothelial connective tissue helps in delivering the blood to all the tissues in a directed and a regulated manner, not in an irregular manner. It delivers blood to all the internal tissues in a directed and regulated manner. So an epithelial tissue, which serves its purpose of protection, secretion, absorption, excretion, and filtration. And this endothelium, which controls the vascular relaxation and vascular contraction of the chambers, as we know that these, the work of these chambers is to contract and relax. So in order to control it perfectly and regulate it, this endothelium helps in controlling the vascular contraction and relaxation. So let's see the functions of each layers of the heart and this pericardium which is responsible for protection of heart while preventing overfilling and also responsible for lubricating the heart. And here you take note that it is responsible for protecting the heart and lubricating the heart. And epicardium, which protects the innermost layer of the heart and it gives a slippery texture to the outermost surface of the heart by producing pericardial fluid. So take note, it protects the innermost layers and it gives a slippery texture because it produces this pericardial fluid. And myocardium. So it is responsible for pumping action of the heart, which is contracting and pumping blood out of the chambers. As you know, it is made up of heart muscles and eventually functions in contracting and pumping. So take note, contraction and pumping blood out of the chambers. And endocardium, which is helping in like which helps blood flow smoothly through the heart. So as I mentioned before, it is made up of subendothelial connective tissue and thus helps the blood flow smoothly through the heart. And this is your quiz time. Comment your answers below. No worries if you could not make it for the first time. Watch the video from the beginning and try to answer it. So the first question, which is the thickest layer of heart wall? Comment below. Which layer of heart is composed of endothelium? 
and which layer of heart is responsible for lubrication? Which layer envelops the outermost part of the heart? And the last question, which is the innermost layer of the heart? I hope you enjoyed the lecture. Thank you for listening. Until then, like, comment, share and click the bell icon to get notified with my upcoming videos.